Hello everybody, this is Zach from New Graphics, and today we're going to be taking a look at our bokeh overlays for Photoshop and showing a couple examples and uh, what you get inside the package. So let's get started, show you what you get. So what you get in the package is you'll get three folders, you'll get a bokeh uh, folder, a gold bokeh folder, folder, and a heart and star bokeh folder, folder excuse me. <laughs> and you'll also get um, an instructional PDF for how to use the bokehs, just for reference later. So I'll go ahead and show you each folder and give you a quick run through. You can pause the video if you'd like. I know it's not very big, but show you uh, just a quick run through. So we have 115 uh, overlays in the bokeh folder. Which is various uh, colors and styles and uh, some interesting things, symbols and different things like that. Then we have the gold bokeh folder, which contains 38 overlays which is, as the name implies, just gold, bokeh, and a little bit kind of orange and red. And then we have our last folder here, which is heart and star bokeh, which is, uh, as you can see, heart bokeh, and we also have star bokeh, like right here, and right here, and show you another heart one, and this one. So as you can see, plenty of overlays. We also have uh, 50 of the heart and star overlays inside there. So let's go ahead and uh, show you an example. We're going to be editing this photo and this photo today. So let's go ahead and find an overlay to use here. Um, I'm going to use Bokeh 108. So just drag and drop the uh, overlay you want you want you want to use. Excuse me, onto your photo, and then drag from the corner by holding Shift, and you can resize that to what you would like. And then uh, you'll want to change the blending mode, so come over here to normal and change that to either screen or lighten. And doing this will get rid of the uh, black background, so it'll only leave the, uh, the bokeh visible. And if the bokeh is too bright for you, if you like a more um, realistic kind of bokeh, then just change the opacity on that layer. And for example, in this case, we'll do about a 40% or so bokeh or opacity and as you can see the that's it's really that simple to uh, apply a bokeh overlay to a photo you can also combine other overlays if you would like to uh, have more effects you don't have to use just one of course so we'll use this bokeh overlay here and change the blending mode again to screen resize it if you'd like and then we'll lower that opacity again uh, just to make it look more realistic. As you can see, it's. Uh, I'm gonna change that back to light in there. Um, so as you can see, it's. Uh, it's yeah, like I said, it's. Uh, it's not hard to use. It's very easy. You just drag and drop, changes the blending mode, and resize it to what you like, and uh, you have plenty of bokeh overlays to use. Plenty of options. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you one more example here. We have this photo. And uh, we also have some other bokeh in here you can use, which is like not your typical kind of bokeh. For example, bokeh number 74. We'll go ahead and uh, rotate that 90 degrees. And this one, for example, we'll, we're going to fit to the entire photo. I'm going to go ahead and change that blending mode again to screen. Lower the opacity. Say about. 40. And as you can see, it's uh, it's still bokeh, but it's not your your typical circle circular bokeh, and it adds just a, a interesting kind of overlay to the uh, or color and light overlay to the photo. I really like this one specifically. Um, so we also have this one, which is kind of the same thing, bokeh number 67. Uh, just plenty of unique kind of overlays and uh, different effects you can achieve with this package. So let me show you this one real quick. Get rid of that one. And lower the opacity. So as you can see, there's plenty of cool options and uh, uh, different bokeh you can use to really enhance your photo and get some interesting uh, effects. So um, that's, that's pretty much it. I, I do want to go ahead and show you uh, just some uh, the gold bokeh and the heart and star bokeh real quick so I'll just pick a random one here uh, say gold 5 
same thing, change the blending mode and rotate that I guess and just resize a little bit of the opacity so there's the gold bokeh, or just one example of the gold bokeh and I'll show you a heart and star bokeh example real quick too don't want to make the video too long so let's do a heart and star 45 change blending mode, screen rotate so as you can see there's some star over this as well so um, Plenty of options guys, uh, I hope you got a good feel for what's inside the package and uh, various ways you can use it and uh, hopefully you can see how easy it is to use as well. So if you're on our website, go ahead and click the add to cart button and uh, if you have any questions, feel free to get back to us. So thank you very much. Have a nice day everybody.